So Call of Duty has just did an update where they are adding Secure Boot into their game, along with Battlefield 6 is going to require you to use Secure Boot as well. And if you want to overclock your controller with Secure Boot, this is the only way you're going to be able to do it. So make sure you guys stay tuned. But I'm going to show you how to turn Secure Boot on, along with overclock your controller with Secure Boot on. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the information you are going to need to know. Call of Duty is launching with Secure Boot in Black Ops 7. So in order to utilize Secure Boot and be able to boot the game, you're going to need to do the following. First thing you're going to want to do is hit your Windows key and type in MS Info 32. Once you do that, you will pop open the system information and you can see right here, Secure Boot State. And it is on for me, but it might say off for you. If it says off, follow me to the next step. If you're looking for the control overclock, you'll scroll a little further into the video. But we're going to restart our PC in order to get to this window. And when we do, before I do it, I just want to say we're going to restart and then start spamming your delete key when the PC is booting back up so we can get into the BIOS. So we're going to hit restart and I'm going to switch to my other camera. So that way you guys can see this because my capture card will not capture this. But as we're going through, we're going to start hitting the spam of the delete key. Now that it is going into this black screen and we're just hitting delete as the computer turns on and we're in the BIOS. By the way, before we continue, I just want to say make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe because I want to make sure I'm helping every single one of you guys get exactly what you need, but also I got to get something in return, right? Hit that subscribe button. It's for free, please. So if you've never boot into your BIOS before, it probably looks something like this. Everyone's BIOS is different depending on their motherboard, but I'm in the easy mode right now. By the way, side note, you should probably make sure your BIOS is up to date and you're running at your XMP profile. But if you, all these things confuse you, I do do PC optimizations in my Discord along with audio optimizations for Call of Duty and Battlefield. You can book an appointment and we'll do it over there. But go to your advanced mode. Now we're going to see that CSM support is disabled. And then you'll see secure boot. You're going to click into here and you'll see enabled and active. Now, if it says enabled, but doesn't say active, it says not active. I want you to click on secure boot mode. Change this to custom and then change it back to standard. When you do that, it will then fix the issue. So hit yes, it'll restart. And now that it's restarting, we're just gonna wait until we get our boot screen. We're good, we're gonna hit delete. And now we're gonna go back to the boot screen. And you can see under secure boot, it says enabled and active. Now, we're all good. We're going to save and exit. Hit yes. And that is how you turn on secure boot. Now, with secure boot on, you may not be able to overclock your controller. A lot of people don't know this, but in order to overclock your controller, you don't necessarily need to have secure boot on. There is another method. So now we are ready to overclock our controller now that we have secure boot on. Now you can't use DS4 because DS4 is blocked by the anti-cheat in Battlefield and I'm going to assume it's going to be blocked in Call of Duty's new COD Black Ops 7. So in order to overclock, we're going to need to do a registry edit. So go to your registry editor, hit yes. It probably looks something like this. You're going to click on the top where it says computer. And you're going to copy and paste what I have in the description. I'll have all of this copy and paste it in. So it's super easy for you to do. But hit enter. Now the first thing we're going to do is hit new. And we're going to go to dword 32 bit Now we're going to rename this upgraded system. Then hit enter. And we're going to leave the value at zero. So there's nothing you need to change. Just hit OK and close this out. And now just restart your PC. Super easy, but that is how you get the ability 
to overclock your controller. Now I'm going to show you the final step to overclocking your controller with Secure Boot on. All right, so the final step to overclock your controller with Secure Boot on is we're going to go to Lord of Mice or HID USBF, and we're going to go download the zip. Once we download that, it's going to pop up in your downloads, and we're going to extract the files here. Go in. Make sure you do the same with this folder. Extract here. And we're going to go to driver and we're going to go to setup it yes now that we're in we want to show all devices then we're going to go to the usb audio device dual sense wireless controller that is for my ps5 controller right here which by the way if you guys don't know i'm sponsored by aim controllers if you want to pick one up and support me by doing so you can go check out the link down in the comment section but Let's talk about it. In order to install, make sure we're clicked on the device, hit install service, then go to 1000. I've made a video before about overclocking your controller and said you could go to 8000. What I found is that this does a lot of wear and tear on your actual CPU, and you're better off just doing 1000 because after 1000, even 2000, you start to see diminishing returns just use a thousand hit install again filter on device and finally one more install now hit restart and it'll say yes 1000 and four bit intervals that's it you are good to go you can now close all of that and your controller is overclocked if you guys have any issues or any questions make sure you leave them down in the comment section and do me a favor, like the video and subscribe because we're so close to 40,000 subscribers. And it means a ton if we get there before Black Ops 7 and, and before the new Battlefield. Now, if you're wondering if this is all very necessary, the truth is yes. In order to play Battlefield or Black Ops 7, Secure Boot will have to be on. And I'm sure this is not a measure that won't be looked at as uh, over the top. A lot of games are probably going to slowly adapt this. And it makes sense. I mean... Essentially, what they're saying to the computer is you cannot start with cheats being active before the Windows boot. And that is how a lot of these cheaters have gotten around getting their cheats on a computer, even with kernel anti-cheats. They activate them all the way back in the BIOS. So this is a very good thing for the anti-cheat. I'm not saying it's perfect. There's probably people that can get around it, but it makes sense for them to at least utilize this. It's funny that Call of Duty only started implementing this because they saw Battlefield was doing it, and the uproar of Battlefield pushing to take Call of Duty players has Call of Duty scared. So they're utilizing at least the secure boot. I think it's a good thing. Let's see if it actually, you know, deters cheaters because it is a lot of steps to get around it. And honestly, I was able to turn on my controller overclock even with Secure Boot on. So I don't know if cheaters could do something simple just like I did. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Do you think it should be harder for cheaters by turning Secure Boot on? Or is this too much for the common player to figure out? Because... I'll be honest, for me, it took a lot of learning to figure all of this out. So who knows if this could be a challenge for other players. But let me know your thoughts 